Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex. So it's episode 3 of the Dry Aged Beef Odyssey. I know it took me some time to get there, uh, but for a reason, because it's some kind of a big deal today. I'm going to show you how to dry age beef yourself at home. If you want to fully understand this episode, then I strongly suggest you uh, to watch the first two episodes because there are lots and lots of useful information and tips in those. Uh, I recently learned about many new tips and I'm going to share them with you along this episode. That being said, let's begin. So let's start basic. From the outside, the dry aging process is just a cooling and drying process, very simple. So I think we need to start with the fridge. We can A, uh, buy a brand new fridge, uh, although it's gonna take some room in my studio, uh, it's gonna be noisy, you know, I'm making videos, so it might be a problem. And, and last, very important, it's gonna be expensive, especially if we need to improve it afterwards. So maybe not the best solution. Or B, we can buy a second-hand fridge, a very cheap one, but in this case, I'm a bit more worried about the conditions in which we're gonna age food we will be consuming at the end. It's definitely too shabby for me. We need to find another solution. Well, you might be thinking, why not using the existing fridge? I mean, it's cheap because I already own it and it's clean. I mean, as, as, as soon as I clean it, of course. <laughs> It's the worst example ever. There are two main reasons for not using your own fridge to dry aged beef. First one, temperature, like opening and closing this beast several times a day makes for the least stable temperature ever. Second, the smell. A dry aging beef will produce a specific smell, a strong one, not a bad one. But the thing is it will permeate the rest of your food and vice versa, so basically your meat might end up uh, smelling like chocolatey. Mm, nah. The only way I can think of that could fix this whole situation would be a fridge inception. Let me elaborate. I wanna build a fridge inside my fridge. So in fact, it's pretty similar to something I did in the past in the Pizza Odyssey, where I built a mini brick oven inside my previous um, domestic oven, yes, previous, because basically afterwards it did suffer from uh, different kinds of uh, dysfunction. It, it's probably nothing's been proven. A bit randomly, I found this uh, big food styrofoam box, uh, which is super insulating and quite cheap. It sounds just perfect. The only thing is that it's pretty big, so I need to make some room in my fridge, and I also I need to clean it, so it's two birds, one stone. The polystyrene box fits perfectly in my fridge. Now let's make it dry edge ready. One, meat cannot be resting on a plate inside, otherwise the part facing down is never gonna dry. It has to be elevated on a rack, or even better, hanging onto a hook, which is the solution I am going for. I just mentioned it, but meat needs to dry out evenly, meaning that we need an air circulation inside at least for the first two weeks or until a crust forms on the outside. For that, I am using a small USB fan, which I am installing upside down to make some room. Three, I must be able to monitor the beef cut without actually opening and closing the door. So I am integrating in the door a small temperature and humidity sensor. Four, I will still have to open that door from time to time. So to make it more practical, I am adding a handle a few hinges and a high-tech sealing mechanism uh, consisting of two rubber bands. Five, as there could be some drippings, let's install a drippings collector, as known as a plastic container lined up with kitchen paper. Six, in order to further dry the air inside, I am adding just a few silica gel packets. 
and finally seven in order to purify the air inside and also to absorb some of the smell I am adding two bags of activated charcoal so I think we are all set with the contraption now we need uh, to go and get the main actor as my friend and butcher John uh, is gonna prepare a massive rebuy just for us uh, I think I'm gonna take my machine with me just to have their professional opinion on it. So that's what it's to sum things up, in the back I've got a big box with electrical wiring and a timer on top. It does look like a bomb. Oh, let's just strongly hope I'm not getting arrested by the police. Oh, that would be a nightmare. Eh ouais, là je te mets une côte de bœuf qui va être un petit peu plus grasse et un petit peu plus entrelardée. Comme on a expliqué auparavant, si la viande est trop maigre, elle va se dégrader. Alors que là, elle va avoir une couche de gras protectrice qui va supporter la maturation. Voilà. Wow <rire> oh le morceau énorme Tu voyais que c'était tout petit. C'est bien non oh, C'est mortel, c'est génial. Et ça va rentrer dans mon frigo ça Ouais tu penses Bah ta boîte elle rentre dans ton frigo Ouais c'est vrai Bah c'est bon Ouais ça marche <rire> Elle fait 2 kg 100 ans Un peu calme On laisse aller dans ton frigo oh. Ouais allez vas-y c'est parti Ventilo intégré Ventilo Crochet Filtre à charbon actif Absorbeur 200 de... sachets d'absorbeur de... d'humidité Humidité, température C'est vraiment énorme Attends Mes chances d'y arriver sur 100 elles sont à combien à peu près Oh tu vas y arriver tu penses Ouais. Oh classe Ouais tu vas y arriver. C'est vrai que tu peux pas maturer de la viande dans ton frigo. Bah comme ça par contre tu peux. Mais bon, ah. absorbeur d'humidité, filtre à charbon, enfin il a été loin quand même. Il manque une entrée d'air. Une entrée d'air il faut Ouais, entrée d'air, sortie d'air. Il faut qu'il y ait un circuit d'air. Ah, si t'as un ventilateur mais que t'as pas d'air qui est brassé, c'est pas bon. Ah merde Donc. Oh, I'm a bit worried because John told me I need an air input and an air output on my machine which is some kind of a pain because I don't want any cross permeating actions between the fridge and the machine uh, unless I can be using a filtering system. I still have a few bags left of activated charcoal and as they are a common filtering agent for kitchen extractors I'm gonna be using them to filter the input and the output. Cool! The dry aging machine is now ready. Let's hang the rebuy inside. I'm sure this is not stupid. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure this is genius. What I know is that I want to age that beef rebuy for at least uh, 45 days. So unless there is a problem along the way, I don't know why there would be any problem. Next dry aged beef episode should be a testing session. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, give it a like, thumbs up and share that over on your social media. It really matters to me. Spread it like butter. A big massive thank you to all of you out there supporting my work uh, here on YouTube, on, on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, or even on Patreon. You guys are just making this whole adventure possible. So last people, click subscribe if you haven't already because uh, I make new videos every week and if it's always always about food somehow it's mostly about inspiration and about having fun really. Big love, bye bye, salut. <laughs>